have a good video today. It's a 2K21 news video. So here's the deal. This video is just talking about NBA 2K21 confirmed news. No speculations, no rumors, no dragged out 10 minute, 15 minute video. However long this video is, that's how long this video is. I'm just here to give you the information. So if you're not subscribed, what are you doing, my guy? Hit that sub button, okay? Because I'm going to be dropping some news for you guys. Gameplay on the side. I mean, it's everything you could want in one place. And let's get to the news. Let's, let's jump right into this. Everybody saw that Troy Dan and Sub the Gamer and Shakedown 2012 got these little packages. And in this package, it basically said, hey, look, you know, you're invited to these things. And these things, one of them said 2K Day. Now, what people don't realize is 2K Day is not Community Day. They said 2K Day is in September. That is when the game is going to be released. 2K calls the release day of their game 2K Day. They're invited to a 2K Day event. Now, this 2K Day event is just a day where a bunch of influencers, a bunch of like NBA players, media people, they all come through and they basically play 2K21. It's like a, it's kind of like a private open community day if that makes any sense they have two events one event is the day before the other event is the actual day of the game's release on the actual day i'm pretty sure it's open to the public to come through now this is how it was last year i don't know how it is this year but that is what 2k day is so don't think that community day has been announced or anything because it hasn't been and if it has been the only people who know are the people who are invited that's the same way it is every year next up the cover athlete is going to be announced in july i'm assuming i'm assuming july 1st but i don't really know for sure based on the information that we have they did say july so it's safe to assume july 1st but we're in the same boat we're in the same boat we like no one knows we don't know okay so we're gonna say july 1st and we're gonna move on to the next thing if it's not july 1st it's July 2nd. I, we're just gonna assume. But next up, we have more than one cover athlete for 2K21. 2K21 is gonna be one of those games with probably three different cover athletes. Now, the reason I say three is because at the end of their some hype trailer i don't know what it really was but it was like a like a hype trailer they had quavo from the migos he was basically like yeah that's the migos i think he said something like that any many money migo <laughs> any many money migo at the very end holding two of the covers which makes me believe that migos meaning three is saying like there's gonna be three if that's a stretch, let me know. But I believe there's going to be three, two non-special edition cover athletes, and then one Legends edition cover athlete. We've had three before, so it's not a surprise. And they like to bring in three cover athletes anytime they do anything out of the box. You know what I mean? Like... 2K16 was the Spike Lee joint. That's kind of out of the box. No, 2K12, they had the legend. 2K13, it was like, I mean, just normal, I guess. It was kind of normal. And none of them are Zion. Apparently, Zion Williamson is not actually going to be on the cover. I'm not surprised because he is like brand new to the NBA. He's only played like 18, 20 games in total. So I'm not surprised he isn't already the cover. But you know 2K's got to make sure they get him in there so he's going to be, you know, a big role. He's going to play a big role in 2K with, you know, the trailer release and all that stuff. He's just not going to be the cover. Now, NBA 2K21 Next Gen is coming out this holiday season around Christmas, Thanksgiving time, I'm assuming. I think it's going to be more in the November, December area. So we know it's coming this year. So they're going to do that thing where they have the same game come out twice. One for the PS4, one for the Xbox and PS5. Now, that means that the PS4 version isn't gonna be that good. I'm not gonna lie, it's probably gonna be the same thing we had the last two to three years. So don't get your hopes up, but you should get your hopes up when it comes to the PS5 version, because that version already is looking kind of promising. It's looking pretty good so far. Hey, also, this is kind of crazy, but apparently the neighborhood is going to be replaced. They're gonna change up the neighborhood so that it's no longer this, like, square. It's no longer gonna be like a square. It's not gonna be something i don't know they made it seem like affiliations are going to play some type of role in this so let's you know let's try to pump the brakes a little bit with our expectations but 
we can get a little excited because you know everybody's wanted affiliations back for like the last three years so hey you know we may be able to see that i'm not gonna say anything but we may be able to see that all we do know is the neighborhood is getting some type of revamp some type of replacement it's gonna be something different in 2k21 on the next gen consoles we don't know about ps4 but we know next gen ps5 is gonna look kind of crispy and finally the last thing i have to say to you is sony and playstation no that's the same sony and microsoft are working on some type of cross-platform cross-compatibility thing where they're gonna make it or hopefully they're gonna hopefully make it so that you can play with the other platform you know what i'm saying ps4 xbox ps5 xbox that's what they're gonna try to do that's what they're working out if that's the case 2k21 is about to go down i mean the wages are going to be insane but hey that's it for me that's all the news we have that's all the 2k21 confirmed information i was able to find and if i do hear or see anything else i'll be sure to let you know but if you're not subscribed once again be sure to hit that sub button because this is the only place you can get content like this i'm gonna be keeping you up to date with all things 2k so yeah that's it for me i'll see you guys in my next one